Resident Evil is a bad series. No, it doesn't matter how many good games there are, the fact that there's any bad games in the series at all means it's a bad series. And anyone who's a fan of it has bad taste in video games. Now, does that sound familiar to you? If not, it should, because that's what a lot of people say about the Sonic series. Now, if by chance you're returning from one of my previous Sonic videos, you'll know I'm a pretty avid defender of Sonic. It's one of my favorite game franchises, and I think there's more good games than bad ones. Now, whether or not that's actually true is certainly debatable, but could the same not be said of... I don't know, say, Silent Hill? Also, sorry I'm targeting all the horror franchises, those unfortunately just happen to be the best examples. Now, I've noticed over the years that there has been kind of a double standard when it comes to Sonic. It seems like when other game franchises fuck up, let alone more than once, people don't bat a fucking eyelash. But when Sonic does it, people act like it's the second coming of the Antichrist. Believe it or not, Sonic is not the only series that's had bad games. Crazy, I know. Like, if you don't like Sonic, that's fine. You like other franchises more, whatever. I don't care. Like what you like, hate what you hate. But no matter how much time passes, I swear to god people always bring up the same fucking points. Sonic 06 this, Sonic 06 that, Sonic Heroes has bad controls, Shadow the Hedgehog swears and wields guns, Sonic turning into a werewolf? That's no good. Sonic wielding a sword? That's no good. Like, we get it. Move on. It's been years since those games. Nobody cares. And I get it, there's also more recent examples, like Sonic Forces, but I still think when looking at the series as a whole, there's more good than bad. Like, you don't hear people talking shit about Mega Man, and I can think of several examples of Mega Man games that have been met with flack. Mega Man 7, Mega Man 8, Mega Man and Base, Mega Man X6, Mega Man X7. That's just five examples, but I'm sure there's more. And you don't hear people talking shit about how Mega Man Legends is so much different from the other Mega Man games. If anything, people generally like that game. It's good, but it's also different. You know what else is different? Mega Man Battle Network. People don't talk shit about that one either. Where's the Mega Man criticism? I sure don't fucking hear it. Resident Evil, same fucking thing. Multiple games met with flack. And I get it, there are more good Resident Evil games than bad ones, but that doesn't change the fact that there are bad ones. Where's the criticism for Resident Evil? Like, it seems like people even treat the Star Fox series with more respect, and there is only one game in that series that people like. Maybe two. Everything else is considered either mid or outright bad. And yet, I don't hear people saying the Star Fox series as a whole is bad. And what about Crash Bandicoot, dude? You know, you don't hear people talking shit about Crash Bandicoot anymore. And, you know, after the PS1, there was like, what? One Crash game that people liked, and that was Twin Sanity? And even that game was rushed out the door, and you don't hear people comparing that game to Sonic 06? Hell, Crash of the Titans is considered one of the worst games ever made. But you notice how people only seem to single out that game specifically. And Wrath of Cortex. But those two games do not affect the series as a whole. People talk shit about those two games specifically, but leave the whole rest of the series alone. Why is that? Spyro the Dragon, Crash Bandicoot's little brother. Again, same thing, after the PS1, it was all downhill from there with maybe one good game, that being a hero's tale. And the rest were met with like hella flack, bro. But again, you don't hear people talking shit about Spyro. There's also a bunch of Final Fantasy games I often hear people talk shit about. Final Fantasy VIII, Final Fantasy X, X-2 especially, Final Fantasy XIII, Dirge of Cerberus, Mystic Quest. Yet the series as a whole is seen as good. Now again, people can like what they like and hate what they hate. But what I don't understand is why Sonic seems to be the only target of ridicule. 
I'm not saying people don't talk shit about other game franchises, but more often than not, it is Sonic that is the target of the most hate when there are other franchises out there making similar mistakes and people don't even bat an eyelash. Like, I am so tired of the double standard, man. So tired of it. But alright, let's stop needlessly ranting and try to look at this subjectively and maybe try to figure out why Sonic catches so much flack. See, when other franchises have a rough streak, they tend to turn things around pretty easily. And even if it does take them a while, I mean in the case of Crash Bandicoot, enough bad games came out and they took a hiatus for a while. Like Crash Bandicoot disappeared for years and then when it finally came back, Crash games started being good again, for the most part. And then you have Resident Evil, and while I said that the series doesn't really catch flack, I mean, that's not completely true, because it was catching flack for a little while for going in a more action-oriented direction, a la 5 and 6. And after, you know, after the... You blew it. After the complaints that they received because of Resident Evil 6, they did go back to a more horror English motherfucker, do you speak it? A more horror oriented direction with seven. And things have been mostly good since then. Mostly. But Sonic tends to be kind of a roller coaster of quality. It's like you'll have several good games, and then several not so good games, and then several more good games, and then several more not so good games. And it's just a seemingly never ending cycle. Anyway, that's pretty much all I have to say. As always, people can like and hate whatever the hell they want. I just wanted to point out the hypocrisy of the gaming industry. But, you know, it doesn't matter. It's a cry on deaf ears. Sonic will always be hated no matter how many good games come out because the damage is already done. Anyway, this is the Gothic Gaming Geek once again questioning all of his life choices. Peace the hell out.